I wanted to ask you, it's been a long tour, five games, how have you found like balancing the travel commitments, the weather, and, and still preparing the team well for the new season? Um, as I said, uh, when we arrived here, that uh, was, was a good moment for different reasons. Also to share time you know, with the fans abroad of England, that is always nice. Then in terms of games, to be honest, uh, five games in 17, 18 days is, uh, is a lot of game. <laughs> the, the, that is, in this moment, for me, is the ideal situation when you have time to prepare the game. But uh, most of our game, our game was just uh, uh, without the preparation in terms of uh, we didn't prepare the game with training session, with all the, all the things that we used to do during a normal season. So some of the game we played just uh, prepare with the video or tactical board. But uh, yeah, overall we try to we try to adapt, and I think we had very two weeks, very good two weeks in Cobham, and now we have still one week, ten days in Cobham when we come back. And for me, the real the real precision has been the two weeks in Cobham, and the week or ten days that we have again in Cobham here has been a little bit a mix of. Uh, Feeling. Kieran. Hi, Enzo. Um, obviously, now there's loads of transfer talk. With the transfer market, are you are you heavily involved in that, or are you the type of coach who likes to, prefers to leave that to the sport and director? To be honest, I don't think there is any manager in the world that is not involved in decision taker in terms of how can I set a player that doesn't fit the idea that I want to play, and how can I decide a player that uh, the club uh, cannot buy for a di different reason. I think there is not manager in the world for that. I think that the, the right thing or the normal thing is that between the manager and the club, there is an agreement for every player. This is, uh, in this case, what's happened at Chelsea. Is there a position that you would prioritize right now from what you've seen in recent months, such as a striker? No, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, in this moment, as you can see, we are trying different things, for instance, in terms of. I don't know. Uh, one game we play with the right fullback inside, then the other game we play with the left fullback inside. The last game we play with the fullback higher. Uh, in terms of nine, we play with the Guyo, and then we play with Cristo. In terms of winger, we play with uh, George, uh, the young guy from the academy, and then we play with the. Right. We are trying different things, and for sure the clubs, the club, and me all together, we know what 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 we need before the we finish the window market. We don't transfer the window market, but uh, as I said many times, it's for Chelsea in this moment. It's for all the club. Jack, what is it you, you feel you need before the end of the window? No, I said uh, when, uh, if you remember my first press conference, I said that uh, the reason why, or one of the reason why, I'm here is is because I really think that the Chelsea squad in this moment it's already very good. For sure, if we have the chance to do something to improve the level. It's, uh, it's good to do it, otherwise we see. And can I just ask you about Moises Kaiseido as well? We had a difficult season last year, but ended it well. He's obviously not had so much time with you yet due to fitness, but what have you made of him and what do you expect? No, I, I, I love Moi. I know Moi from already many years. Uh, I love the way he play. Uh, for sure, as you said, last year was a bit complicated for different reasons. You know better than me. Uh, you know, last summer for him was not easy. Uh, he had before City game. He had just one session and a half in terms of he did, he works with us for part of the session and the day before the game he work all the session and then we give him we give him 45 minutes against City. The idea, as I said, in this moment is also to build a little bit the physical condition. Uh, we try to prioritize prioritize these kind of things. East and then re the result in this moment because we need Moy to be fit for the first game of the league and we can think okay against City because he didn't train he's not going to play but uh, we need him when official game so we also think about these kind of things. Gentlemen here. Jorge Gonzalez, top in 90. Just what are maybe some of the positives that you take so far from this preseason tour and some of the negatives as well since you guys have suffered some heavy defeats? No, yeah, there are always a good thing and bad thing. For me, to be honest, are more the good things than bad things in this moment. Uh, for sure, uh, I said already the other day, we don't like uh, to lose game, especially uh, the way we lost the last one. Uh, 
uh, but in terms of uh, progressing, in terms of improve, improve the team is, is improving and I'm, I'm very happy about that. Ben. Hey Enzo, Ben Jacobson, TalkSport. Can we just ask you about Nicholas Jackson? First of all, fitness situation and second of all, position. Because were you to bring in other strikers or have competition in that central area, and you've said Nkunku can play there too, presumably he could play out wide as a wide forward or a winger. So can you just speak to his fitness and the position that you see him playing this season? Uh, Nicholas, this morning he had the first session with us the first completed session with us, even if the session was very light because we played tomorrow, they played 40, less than 48 hours ago. So this morning session was very, very, very light, but uh, at least he worked with that, that it's with, with us, that is important. And then in terms of position for me, I see Nicolas as a striker. And only a striker, no consideration as a wide forward? No, he can... <laughs> For a, mem for a moment of the season, all of them, they can play in different positions. The other day, Misha played in the right side, just to see something. But it can happen that during the season, he's going to play in the right side. But I know that Misha is in the left side, it's better than the right side. Nicolas, for me, it's a striker, it's a nine. Uh, these Sunday, some games, we need him playing as a winger. We see he can play as a winger. Um, Kyle Bond with Sporting News. Coach, uh, appreciate your time. Yesterday, Carlo Ancelotti mentioned that you know, he, he likes what you were doing. He was very com complimentary, but he, he said that it may take some time for this project to flush out. Do you feel like this team is ready to, once the season starts, challenge for top spots, or do you feel like this is something that may take some time to get going? No, this is a, <laughs> this is a, a process. You cannot think that after two weeks, three weeks, or four weeks, one month in, in general, everything is going to, to work in the right way. Uh, I really appreciate... Uh, Carlo words. I work with Carlo under Carlo, and it's fantastic. And his career is is something unbelievable. So, but he knows better than than me and better than many 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 people in this kind of business. Uh, the way to reach something important is. Uh, uh, to be honest, I had Carlo more or less when he was my age in this moment, uh, and unfortunately, he was sacked when with Juventus. So, but uh, at the end, uh, it's, it's not uh, something magic that you can reach in two days. There is not, uh, this is not, uh, it's not, uh, not football, it's, play it's different thing, it's PlayStation, it's not football. You need, day by day, you need work, you need time. And I know that most of the manager, we ask time. It's like excuse, but it's not excuse, it's really a reality. And then if people, they won't understand, good, otherwise it's what it is. Lisa. Enzo, you've said there's not been much preparation or proper preparation mm -hmm. between these games. Obviously, it's such a difficult opposition when you're trying to enforce a possession game against Manchester City and then you're facing probably the best transition team in the world in Real Madrid. But so far, even though mistakes have been made, which is normal, what are the positives you've seen from the players adapting to what you want from them? No, for sure, uh, since the first game against Wrexham, the, the, then Celtic and then... Club America and then City in terms of on the ball and off the ball we are improving for sure in this moment the, for instance the four goal we conceded against City uh, was our ball was in the build up but for some uh, wrong decision we concede we concede goals that uh, with timing this kind of decision they're gonna understand that probably the right decision is to play a de different kind of pass but uh, as you said much better now than uh, then in the future, even if it's going to happen again, because it's, uh, it's the way that uh, we want to try to play. You've said there, as a manager, you do have influence on the players coming in and the players coming out. One of the things we've heard in the last few days has been that Conor Gallagher would be a squad player under your approach. Fans want to know why is that the case, given his abilities? If you can explain to me what you mean for a uh, squad player, he wouldn't be a regular starter. But no one of, of them is going to be a regular starter. Because if I say that uh, a player is going to be a regular starter, I think it's lack of respect for the rest. All of them, they, are, they need to work day by day, very hard, and show me and convince me that they need to play, they have to play. But no one of them, for, that's why I ask, I consider all of them a squad, uh, squad player. Then the day by day and the day they work, 
some of them they are going to play and some not. So I don't think there, there was something uh, wrong to say that Connor or I don't know Enzo Moy they are squad player they have to show every day and then I will take a decision. With Gallagher's attributes then if he was to stay with his skill set do you feel he could thrive under your approach? Listen, in this moment I think there is uh, something between the player and the club in terms of agreement or to stay or to leave something like this so in this moment there is a talk and we see how they finish. I said the other time, these kind of things happen always in all the club, every summer, and at the end, every time the final decision is uh, good for, for everyone. So hopefully uh, the final decision for Connor will be something good for Connor, for the club, and that's all. I don't... And so I'm conscious you've had lots and lots of questions about Connor during this tour. Um, just one more, if you don't mind. Um, I think at the moment the fans, when you, when you listen to the fans and the way that they're, they're responding to that speculation about him, I think it's not just about him, it's about the fact that a lot of players who have come through the club's academy have left the club in recent years. And yeah, but this is not Chelsea problem. This is not Chelsea problem. This is the rules problems. Okay. All the clubs in this moment, they are almost, uh, what do you say in English, uh, com compulsory? Yeah. Yeah. coming back from long right now what do you have to say about him and the plans that you have for him this season no Angelo I said he is with us in this preseason he's, uh, he's doing well he's working uh, well the only thing because of the amount of the winger we have uh, I said many times for the very young players the best way to improve is to, to play and to get minutes and for Angelo in this moment with us is struggle a little bit, but uh, we see for the rest of the season with us or uh, thinking if he's going to go loan somewhere. Is it possible that he'll get some minutes tomorrow? Uh, I don't know, yeah, probably, we see. Last one, the gentleman. Lorenzo, puede ser en español? ¿Un español? Sí. ¿Qué tal? Claudio Bon para Telemundo Charlo. En el último partido lo vi por momentos del partido a Enzo Fernández jugar mucho sobre la derecha, ¿eso fue casualidad o lo tenés planeado que juegue por ese sector? Gracias. Come on, man, translate now. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Do you want me to translate? Double job. <laughs> I, I will ask the club more money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the reason why he was playing a little bit more in the right side, uh, he was not playing in the right side. He was playing attacking midfielder a little bit in the right side. But in some moment, he has to go a little bit wide uh, to receive the ball, or at least to attract his men and to create space for his teammates. And this was the only reason why. But uh, we are not thinking to put Enzo uh, in the right side. It was just uh, like attacking midfielder, him in one side, and Keenan Disborio in, in the other side. No, que, que, que la idea no es poner a Enzo por la derecha, simplemente por la dinámica del juego, se, alguna vez se trasladó o se movió hacia la derecha, que es para recibir el balón o eh, para intentar que un compañero suyo reciba el balón, pero no es nuestra intención que Enzo juegue por la derecha. El otro día jugó él por la derecha como mediocampista ofensivo y Kinan Disburriol jugó por la izquierda. Gracias, Thanks, everyone. I'm not Spanish, I'm from Italy. <laughs>